What's up, guys? This is Tampa Tech. This is my son, Devin. And this is week four on the eBay repair challenge with Vince, my mate Vince, and Elliot with the Retro Future, and also Steve, Tronics Fix. We're all involved with the eBay repair challenge. I'll leave links in the video description below. Let's go ahead and get started. So basically, we're buying items on eBay that are broken and we're fixing them and trying to sell them for a profit. And week four is we have to buy an item that is uh, made before 1990. So here is my eBay results. The Nintendo 64, week one, we sold for $40. We got both of them working, but we could only sell one of them. And the Nintendo Switch, we sold for $81. $1 more than when I bought it for but we couldn't get that working, unfortunately. Probably would have made more money if we got that fixed. And apparently, no one wants to buy or even bid on a 30-year-old talking Teddy Rockspin. Mm -hmm. Oops. What is this? All right. Is that it? I'm going to check all the pockets. Look at this. All oh, this stuff. Why is the Game Boy so big? I thought they're like little. I thought they're handheld and can fit in it your It is handheld. This is this cannot fit in your pocket. Oh, it does fit in your pocket barely. <laughs> Alright, let's just it's go. It's another ahead. battery explosion. Yeah, but last no, time that didn't one. completely fix it. Are you serious? Both of these have something wrong with this. So I'll go ahead and leave a screenshot how much I paid for these items, but we could only sell one and I'm using the other one as parts. It came with a couple games. It pinball. came with Pokemon, Mario, and po um, Pinball, yeah. And it came with some... And I wasn't expecting... Chargers? I just thought I was going to get two Game Boys. And some holders. I got a bunch of stuff. And action replay. Oh, wait a minute. Is this What is this? This is for... This Battery charging it? Charging it? No, not charging it. I don't know what this is for. I saw the... Where you plug it in on the bottom. No, that's a headphone jack. That's where you, you plug could your put headphones. headphones in that? Oh, you could pull. Oh, look at this. What is it? Plug it into the wall. It's a wall adapter. So you don't need batteries. I never knew that. I had one of these when I was a kid. I never knew that you could plug it into the wall. I, never I don't know even why. I knew that they were a thing. Alright, so what's an action replay? That's pretty cool. So, action replay. I don't even know what this is. Where do you plug this in? And this is clearly the whole little hole. Oh, here we go. So look back here. This is 1989. You can see that. Oh, this never Let's see if these before. work, actually. We're going to put some batteries in and see if they turn on. They're actually in pretty decent shape. You just have to clean them up a little bit. And right there is a little battery acid right there. We have to clean that up. And I'll put in Tetris. Oh, Tetris doesn't look too good. There's like, Tetris doesn't look too good. It looks kind of like cruddy in there. I'll put it in anyway. No power. So we got nothing going on here. No light either. Oh, so this one's completely dead. All right, let's go ahead and put the batteries in this one. This this one turns on. Let me see. But you got lines all over the screen. Can I see. Let's first things first. We're gonna take this apart. Put the batteries in this. All right, so we're gonna be using this alcohol. I already cleaned mine. Mine's already clean. Mine came clean. Mine came with like some loose battery acid that I just shook out. So I'm already on the unscrewing part. People have to see what you're doing. Who can see what you're doing?
There's six screws, but they'd have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Bad news. There's a ribbon cable that connects it. So we won't even be able to open it up until... Yeah, you can. Slides out. Oh, flip it upside down like that. Yeah, but we have And to... then it slides out like that way. Now you don't have to use it. Use your fingers. They're not going to rip when you use that. So there's two hands on each side. Just slide down. I can't. You nervous? It's like tape. Oh, what is that battery acid right there? Yeah. Oh, look, someone's finger's been in it. Look, there's fingerprints. Ew. Whoever went in this and tried to fix it did a good job. They almost fixed it completely. And then they just gave up after it got really close. I probably just sprayed it on your side. I know for a fact this guy didn't use this alcohol because look, this alcohol like just makes that marker bleed right off. Alright, that stuff came right off. 3, 10, 22. Remember that number in case something bad happens. That's probably the service thing for a long time ago. Oh, I can tell I used this bit before. Mm -hmm. It's all destroyed. Oh, look at the battery acid in this one. Oh, let me see. Let me go. Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and open this up. Mine wasn't that bad. Lay it down like this. What number did you have? 205, 20 something? Mm -hmm. It's probably the service call thing. If you call in and you. Part number? Yeah. I'm going straight to my screen. You're like. Your thing has no power, so you're just doing everything you can. But my, I'm going straight to my screen because I know my screen is deformative. We can slide this up. Yeah. All right. Ooh, cool. Whoa. I'm proud of me. I know how to put batteries in a thing. You'd be surprised how many kids don't know how to do that. I know. All right, now go ahead and um, put a game in, turn it on. Ah, uh, no, 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 Pokemon. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Fine. It's not even in all the way. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, I hear volume. Careful. Yeah, this is the one with the bad screen. Mm-hmm. I watched one of Retro Future's video. Oh, so he's already done this? He done this, but I think what he did is he took that piece off, and if I can remember correctly, he heated it up with a solder iron and ran across these lines. I've never seen that. What does that do? Um, the lines? No, this. Contrast. Are you able to do that outside? on a TV? TVs have that. No, are you able to like change it while you're playing the game? Mm-hmm. Really? I never knew that. I didn't see it. Oh, do you see the lines? Look, they're going away. Well, one did. Yeah, one did. Hey, one's better than none. Oh, more. Oh. Can I do that? Um, if you do it for too long, it'll destroy the ribbon cable connection and then the whole screen will go blank. Go all the way down, real slow. Don't go on the plastic though. Don't touch the screen with it. Can you do it then? Yeah, you can do it. <sighs> Oh, 
There's this bad solder joint right here. Where? Battery acid ate away at some of these solder joints. You want to destroy it? No, you're not going to do it? Are you gonna do it? really works and it's like really good so that's the one i want no but like this the, you can't ruin my ebay repair challenge boom it's working what game is that pinball let's see it looks like it works and turn the contrast all the way down any lines that are out Nope. Alright, turn all the way up. Uh, a Game Boy? It should be called Game Brick. I really suck at this, but at least I know it works. 
Oh, this is a classic. This is classic music. Alright, let's start on level one. This used to be my ringtone for my uh, <laughs> Nokia phone. In 19, like, 99 right, and 2000. So we got the Game Boy working. We're testing it right now. We're going to list it on eBay. Hopefully make some profit on this week's challenge. If you know anyone that may be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. How many coins am I supposed to get?